Hey there, welcome to day 1901 of What You Up To Now. Sharon Hornelstrom here, documenting the journey originally as I transitioned from brick and mortar corporate world of businesses to the online world of business and what I'm doing now in the online world of business. Every day I create a couple of pieces of content, one for my Supersize Your Business group and one as part of an annual challenge. I started doing annual challenges about, well, a long time ago, but I started doing them online about six years ago. I think this is the sixth year in a row of doing an annual challenge. And the first year I did like two or three different, well, two annual challenges. One was to do one thing every day that stretched my comfort zone. And I started that before I got involved with a group that challenged us. And it was in about, I wanna say March or something when we started in that group going live every day to the group just to get us comfortable doing it. And I think a hundred or so of us started doing that challenge and six or seven of us actually finished it through all the ups and downs of figuring out how to do live video. And we did it in a Facebook group. So I got banned from Facebook for about three weeks during that year. And I had to figure out how to do them on YouTube and then transfer them to Facebook, but to make sure I could still go live in the group every day. So it wasn't exactly going live in the group on Facebook, but it was live on YouTube. And then I just shared the link to Facebook. So it in effect, had, it had the same effect in me on me in terms of I had to feel like I was going live, even though it wasn't actually real time live in the Facebook group. It still met the criteria of going live every day. So I guess that's an example of how we have to figure things out. But every day and every year then I've picked a topic or a, an area of focus. And this year's is goals. Thank you to Chad Hanna, a friend of mine that I met in that very first uh, live Facebook group challenge. And he said, hey, why don't you do something with goals this year? So I took his advice and I decided I would do one thing every day to get what I want. And I'm helping other people to do the same by focusing on goals. Now, I use a life framework with nine different areas that we break it down as. And this month we're focusing on spiritual well-being, spiritual health, however you define that. And I am sharing something I started doing in 2020 as part of the pandemic doing challenges just 30 day challenges for that, but we would share and uh, pick different things. And I actually would go through all, it was seven back then, different areas and aspects of our life. And we would go through, we'd use the SOAP framework as well as uh, we'd go through all of them and different tools. It was, it was a lot for a, a one month challenge, a 30 day challenge. But I I think that's what I needed and a lot of us needed in 2020 to keep us moving forward and making progress in a time when everything was kind of blown up and crazy and chaotic. So today for Supersize Your Business, actually our idiom is moving forward. Happens to be the state motto of Wisconsin where I live. So it's a little bit appropriate, but I shared five different things and five different items we wanna look at and measure. And it's really more than five, five categories of things that we wanna measure as we're growing and building and supersizing our business to make sure that we're making progress and moving forward. And then for the annual challenge, we're on the P of the SOAP framework, which stands for progress. So earlier we set a spiritual goal because we're working on goals this year. So an area of our spiritual health or spiritual well being that we wanted to improve, we brainstormed and we picked one. And then we told the story about that, where we are now versus where we wanna be that creates a gap that we want to fill with the rest of the framework. So we brainstorm possible things we could do to start filling that gap. And then yesterday we looked at analyzing those options and alternatives and selecting the one that we were going to take action on. We took action and now are identifying today, well, how do we know if what we're doing is working and moving us toward what we want to do? And we talked about that. We talked about how to do that. And then I shared spiritual well-being is is a pretty subjective area and more challenging to measure. So what I'm doing for my measuring the the goal that I'm using is I'm I'm creating a bunch of steps and dates that they're expected to be done by and that's how I'll measure progress. Now will those steps maybe change until I achieve the end results of the goal that I want? Probably. Probably my first run passes through what the steps need to be. Maybe they're not in the exact right order. Maybe the dates aren't exactly right. But that's part of the learning process where we want to not only know if we're making progress, but we want to learn from the mistakes and the things that don't work so that next time we, we don't make that same mistake again. We want to seek counsel from appropriate and right sources if it's, a, you know, if it's right for us. Some things we don't need outside 
commentary on, right? Some things we do, some things we don't. So that's how I'm getting around the subjectivity of this particular goal. It's, it's not an easily measurable thing. And if it's hard to measure with things that are easy to measure, I want to find ways to make it measurable. Knowing if I did it by the date that I set for myself, either it's a yes or a no. Either I got it done or I didn't. And then if I didn't get it done, why didn't I? I want to look into that and make sure that I'm I'm not just procrastinating or making excuses and not getting it done. Uh, doesn't mean things in life don't come up that move those dates, but I want to consciously do that, not do it on a subconscious level and just let it drift off and out into the future. All right, that's all I've got today. It is Easter weekend, so I have to think Easter bunny thoughts today. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day, and I'll be with you tomorrow.